I'd say within the last 10 years, personalized medicine um, has become extremely important because of the concept, <coughs> sorry, because of the concept about one size doesn't fit all. Prior to personalized medicine, there was a, you know, the physician had a little book and he would look in the book and he would look in the index and he would see what the disease you were diagnosed with and then he would prescribe a drug. Well, what we now know is that in some cases that drug is beneficial to that patient, whereas to another patient, even with the same disease, it, it's not beneficial because even though the two patients, the disease in those two patients are the same, the makeup, the genetic makeup of, of those two individuals are entirely different. And so that's where personalized medicine will play a very significant role in our ability to be able to determine one person from another with regard to the type of therapy that they receive. There are many, many deaths that occur because of the fact that the patient has been given what was thought to be the right drug for the particular type of disease they have. But as I explained to your first question, in fact, it may not. And so many patients have gotten worse or in some cases have died because of the fact that we didn't have or didn't pay a great deal of attention to this concept of one size you know, doesn't fit all. So hopefully with personalized medicine and some of the new, what we call companion diagnostic tests that are being developed, eventually we'll be able to try to decrease, maybe not totally eliminate, but decrease this overdiagnosis and overtreatment. Screening, of course, is a key word when we talk about preventative medicine. The idea of screening is to test asymptomatic men, that is men who have no symptoms of a particular disease, and to be able to use screening to diagnose the fact that they have a particular disease. The, the, the test has to be extremely specific for the disease so that we don't get, fall into the situation where we get what are called false positives. That is people, they have a positive test, but they don't have the disease.